Okay, Stephanie, let's take a look at what we got here. So this is what you want the image to look like originally. You're going to have uh, some lady in the background here who is pushed up into the content above it. And then once you start to scroll, then you want the uh, first section here to turn white. So let me show you what I have on that. So here we have a young lady in the front. Text is over her head. You can barely see it because it's in her hair right there. But as we scroll up, and I have a set for 100 pixels at this point, obviously you can change it to whatever you want. So as it scrolls up to that 100 pixel point, then the top section will turn white. So let me just show you real quickly how to set that up just come into our top section and what we're going to say in the very top section is we want it to be um, stick to the top of the screen on scroll so st stick to the top on scroll and we want the background to be completely transparent and take out all the padding and everything else plus i also have in the css the code to make this a hundred percent width and i'll show that to you in a second and then in section number two and let me tell you i built this out like three different ways using the image in both sections and doing parallax and creating this image as the site background and i found that what the best way to do was the simplest way to do which it always is is uh, we just set that background image right here as the background for this section so for section number two you put that lady in as the background image and then in this case here i set my top margin to minus 80 pixels so let's just take that out so here is the edge of it right now the top edge where that green line is so if we come in and we make this minus 80 pixels you're going to see that all that does is it just lifts the entire thing up. And because this top section is transparent, this will come in behind it and you'll see the text over the top of the lady. So we'll come back into this section. And let me see here. We have no stickiness, of course, full page, minus 80, like I said, the image. And then in this case here, we also have a transparent background. And all this padding I have set here just in order to give us enough room on here for yourself. You'll have to determine that with the text and everything else you have. Now, one thing you may want to do is to go in and set a height on this image, even though it seems like in your you have an image that seems to fit in here really well and so i don't think you're going to have any problem with your image but let me uh, just show you then um, the code to make this work and first off we'll go into the css code and this here is what makes it 100 percent width so that uh, makes everything go all to the edges and then ignore this part down here but um so then we have the container 26925 and that is a container the second container the second section on the page and we just say background position top so that the image goes to the top of the section background size in this case i made it 500 pixels because the image i'm using is gigantic and i had to pare it down in order just to fit into the frame and have it look decent whereas i think yours is sized properly so you probably won't have that issue and then I just say no repeat because if you don't put in no repeat, it just puts her, well, it should have. Let me see here. CSS. Let me just take out this part. Well, it should do it. Maybe it only does it in the live. But um, I found that you needed to put in the no repeat. And so all of them you also want important at the end because it needs to override the general functionality inside of ClickFunnels. And then we have one other thing here. We have a new class that we have to create, and we called that class Scrolled. And what it is is it's background white. And again, we put in color or we put in important to make sure it overrides ClickFunnels. And then we put in a transition background color 200 milliseconds and all that does is it just kind of makes it fade in a little bit you could take that out if you don't want the fade if you want it just to snap right to that color now let's look at our tracking code for this and again it's pretty simple it just says on the dot on document scroll so anytime anybody scrolls on this document at all if <clears throat> excuse me if 
it scrolls more than 100 pixels from the top. And so you can change this number to one pixel, 10 pixels, 52 pixels, whatever you want. Change that number to when you want it to turn white. And so that's what we do here is we add this class of scrolled that we created in the CSS. We add that class to this section and it just makes the background turn white. And then, of course, when we're less than whatever this number is, then we have it turn off that class and then it goes back to being transparent. So that is it is really just a little teeny tiny bit of code. And just the, the biggest thing here is just make this second section negative top margin to pull it up a little bit higher. And there you go. So if you got any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Have a great day.